For 2015, Kilter expanded our line and we really focused on what would be best for gyms, so what's going to suit the needs of a commercial root setter. At the same time, they're going to be super good for people who want to set home walls, uh, although you know they don't want to maybe buy the whole line, so they're going to have to choose a little bit more what they want. For gyms, we want you to buy the whole line, and the reason we want you to do that is because then you can choose if you want a harder hold or an easier hold at any time when you're setting your root. But I think we've all been there where you've been kind of like near the top of a root and you're trying to set it with all holds that look the same and all of a sudden you're out of holds that match. And you've got like two moves to go and you're like, okay, well this will be good enough. And that turns into the horrible crux that all your customers hate because it's like the hold's just not good enough for the 5'11 climbers or whatever it is. Um, so what we did here was we put a lot of sets together that are complementary and just slightly bigger or smaller, so you have a really big range of holds to choose from, and you should be able to set on a variety of wall angles, entire routes that all look the same, and you can really dial in the difficulty to exactly what you want it to be. So those are the least positive. Um, some of them are actually in cut, but they're really small. They're like half pad, quarter pad, up to three quarters pad crimps. Uh, as you come back to the middle of the board here, you get like full pad, pad and a half, and you get into like two pad kind of stuff at the end here in the mini jugs. Um, which again, I grabbed this one. It's just two full pad hold. So it's really easy if you're like having trouble and your crux is just a little bit too hard or a little bit too easy to grab a hold that's slightly bigger or smaller and dial it in without sacrificing the aesthetic that you're looking for. At this end of the table, we have some of the NOAA mini jugs. Uh, we call them mini jugs. It's pretty much a jug. Most companies might refer to this as a jug, but to us, we want our jugs to be like, you cannot fall off them kind of honkers. So this is a mini jug. You can use it on a completely horizontal roof if you want to. Um, but it's round enough to be comfortable, even on a bird, which is nice, nice feature. And then this is something we call a fin, and so the only difference between our fins and our mini jugs is that it's a slightly less puffy lip here, so it's still really comfortable, you can still use it on a bird and be totally fine, but it's just not quite as rounded as some of the other mini jugs that we have. Um, but yeah, the fins are cool, they're in-cut, get like solid two pads on them. And then down here is another mini jug set. Just big kind of rounded fat, so it's like a three pad almost hold at the end here. The ones at the front of the table are a little bit smaller. Um, and then again, it has the NOAA wave going on here, so it forces you to use the hold. You can add a little bit differently. It's not just a basic blob that you grab. It actually allows for some creative root setting. Um, and here we are at the next set, same thing. Slightly smaller mini jugs. This one's really cool. It's got a real puffy edge on it, and you can kind of pinch it almost. Uh, and then down here, we're down into the like more of a one and a half pad family now. So, puffy, nice, comfortable, good on any angle. You can even use them on horizontal if you're the strong kids. They are in cut enough that you're going to be able to pull against them. But they're going to feel like crimps on a horizontal, which is cool. Um, similar thing here, a little bit uh, less thick of a diameter of an edge here. It's a little bit in cut. Um, puffy in cuts is what we call holes in this range. And then these are these are from actually spring of 2014, and but they go well with this whole set. They're kind of a rounded, puffy edge, uh, and the rounded part just makes you have to choose what you're going to load. So they're just a little more interesting than just the classic flat edge, and they're also really comfortable. They don't have any like sharp edges that poke into your fingers. Um, and then this is one of my favorite sets. They're edges, and they're but they're just really subtle, and they have little like almost they feel almost in cut and flat at the same time. Um, this is one of the newer Noah sets here. And then these are some kind of puffy and cut crimps. Uh, they're not really in cut, but you feel like you can dig behind them. What's cool about the puffy series is that you, they're good, but you feel like you just keep digging and try to get behind them, which is something you get a lot in outdoor rock, so it's kind of neat to have that inside as well. And then down here, the smaller ones are like, you know, half pad, three quarter pad, and you can, again, get behind them near the wall, but they just really feel flat almost. Uh, so you really have to keep digging on them, which is cool. Same thing with the next set down. And then the final set here, these things are like, you're, you're digging and you're digging with the top half or quarter of your pad. So, um, so you know, regardless of the grade you're trying to set, we have holes for you.